I'm sitting and watching here just for a moment as I got a little information sent to me about this guy by the name of Chris Culliver, which just happened to be a, a defensive player for the San Francisco 49ers as they're getting geared up for the Super Bowl. And his comments was less than positive against the gays or the homosexual movement. And, you know, it, it, I'm amazed at the politics behind everything that goes on in this world. I mean, after all, you have a freedom to choose if you want to be gay or not be gay. Um, and you have a freedom to, to choose what words you want to say as well as be responsible for the words that you say. Now, as a pastor, number one, I'm going to tell you flat out, I totally disagree with the homosexual and gay lifestyle. I, I personally totally disagree with it, and I preach against it, totally, because just by common sense, my own common sense, um, I can look in that Bible and see that God made Adam and Eve and not Adam and Steve. And if if God wanted Adam to have Steve for a help me, then he would have created another man. That's just making sense. I mean, after all, why did he make direct, the direct opposite of a woman and, um, um, and call, you know, a direct opposite of a man and called her woman? man? Is that so hard to understand? Now, years and years and years ago, I'm talking about uh, 15, 20 years ago, the gays, you, you wouldn't even hear about this because they were so much in the closet. But man, now they're coming out with full force nowadays and they are trying to twist, warp, and distort everybody's perspective to try to make us who are intolerant of their lifestyle because they are totally intolerant of our lifestyle. They're trying to make us intolerant. Um, uh, they, they, you know, we that are intolerant of their lifestyle, they're trying to force everybody into accept their behavior and their lifestyle when they are totally indifferent when it comes to our perspective and our viewpoints. You go out here and you say something about being holy, one husband, one wife, first thing the gays do is they come out in groves and they attack you. I remember on YouTube, I made a video on um, uh, homosexuals or something like that. Man, them homosexuals band together. You wouldn't believe how they band together. And YouTube took down my video. I thought I had freedom of speech. I didn't say anything that was not true. I didn't say anything that was negative derogatory. I stated facts. See, What's happening is, is there, there's, this lets you know the decline of our society because if you go back and read the Bible, you'll find out that the, one of the main reasons why God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah is because the land was full of homosexuals. And why is that all of a sudden a condescending or condemning nature or condemning words when you're telling a fact based on the book? That's the reason why they're making the, book, the Bible a terrorist book. You see, people are using, losing moralities, and, and they're losing everything that's going on in this world today when it comes to just flat-out sense. I didn't raise my son or daughter and tell them flat-out that well, whoever you love and whoever you want to be with is okay by me. My son come up in his house, which is highly likely and highly undoubted, talking about that he going to marry Steve and, uh, 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 instead of um, a, a woman. He ain't my son no more. He won't be coming through my door ever again. And I don't want to see his face anymore. My girl talking about that, that she done got a lover and, 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 and her name is Candy or something like that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Pastor Dow is not going to succumb to the pressure of the decline of this society and the wave of the rest of this world. I'm going to keep the morals, the values, and the standards that I personally was raised on and what I personally have looked and saw in that Bible and what it says since I accept the scriptures. And I don't care what nobody says and ain't nobody going to pressure me to accept something that I believe that is totally contrary to nature. Totally contrary. I never in my life seen two men make a baby or two women make a baby. Never. Never. I told you I have a solution. If that lifestyle is so accepted. Then put all the homosexual women on one aisle and all the homosexual men on one aisle. Come back in 50 years and let's see if they produce or let's see if they are eradicated as a society. See, that's just sense. Oh, I know they are inflammatory and derogatory, negative comments um, towards the people who 
actually gender to this homosexual lifestyle as well as these church. Look at the Christian churches. The pulpit is full of them. The choir is full of them. Um, uh, the church is full of them. There's this one lady came here and told me that in one of these big time mega churches that when they're in a homosexual relationship, they have this thing called a relationship ring and they put it on, on the right hand rather than, you know, uh, the Christians, they put on the left hand. Israelites, we don't wear on no hands. Um, but but they put it on the opposite hand to let people know that they're in a relationship. I go, oh, mercy me. Anyway, my personal perspective, my personal viewpoint. And ain't nobody out there going to change that, period. That's just the way it is. And that's the way I'm going to preach. And that's the way I'm going to teach. No homosexual is going to come in my assembly playing on no organ or singing in no choir or playing no instrument. None was especially preaching in any pulpit where I'm at, period. Now, you can have it out there, not here, uh-uh, not here. Um, and I don't care if the whole world hates it. I don't care if they like but I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to succumb to so-called political pressure or people's feelings and emotions. But you know why? Because it's amazing how they want us to be tolerant towards them. But then when I start stating my viewpoints and stuff, they are so intolerant towards me. How hypocritical can you be? And then the news media, how hypocritical can you be? Most of them do it for a paycheck. Not because most of them disagree totally with that type of lifestyle, but they better not say it because they do, they'll lose a job. And whatever their job tells them to report, whatever job tells them to say, they better say it. And you people out there in the NFL, in football, you better be politically correct about everything because if you don't, you're going to lose all that money that you're making every single week, every game you make, every game that you play, you're going to lose a lot of money, a whole bunch of it. So you people in the NFL, you keep your gag going and keep playing your games. You better not speak too much stuff too loud because you're going to find out that um, slowly but surely that people are bowing down towards the dollar and losing their own convictions because they're too busy trying to be politically correct. Ah, and that my, and that, if I was in the NFL, my career would be over with because I'm telling you right now, if I said something, and I'm and I'm and I'm confirmed and I'm convicted about it. I'm not gonna sit up here and get disturbed and, and lose my mind and cry and, and get all over a hissy fit because other people disagree with it. The only thing you're afraid of, you're gonna lose your paycheck, you're gonna lose your job, you're gonna get kicked out of the NFL because you have to be politically correct. You have to accept homosexuals in the locker room. Just like the army had to accept homosexuals now. Uh, in the army and stuff. Now, hey, you want to be there and do that? I'm not going to do it. Uh-uh. I ain't going to do it. Ain't going to never be an acceptable lifestyle. In my eyes, my view, and my opinion, I'm going to preach it and teach it as such. And I don't care if you don't like it or not. And that's the truth. And that's the true straight way. Get mad if you want to get mad.